Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be watching Our Flag Means Death, Season 2, Episode 6. And this next episode is called Calypso's Birthday and I love it so much. Isn't Calypso a mythical creature or figure? I mean, I think it's a woman, but I don't think it's real, right? Like I think it's, is it from Greek mythology or something? I'm not sure, but I'm so excited. I feel like honestly at this point they could do some supernatural stuff as well ever since buttons turn into a seagull did we forget about that like that just happened like it's crazy i love that so much by the way so yeah i feel like might as well just bring in actual calypso so yes very very curious about this episode i'm so excited to see this new steed and ed i loved ed's character progress in the previous episode him talking to Fang, or should I say Kevin, and proving that he is willing to change and is actually is trying to change. It's so cute. And then him and Steve at the end. That was way too romantic, way too cute. The hand holding, I love that what got all of us was the hand holding. Like they literally kissed, and every one of us fans were just like, Did you guys see they had hands? Like, we're all crazy, but it was so good. I loved it so much. And it's just so nice to see that they're not each other's whims anymore. And I love that they're taking it slow so that they can show each other that, no, I really do want this. Like, this isn't just a fling or whatever. Like, it's real and it's true. And they're willing to work on it so that they can be deserving of each other. I'm gonna combust. <laughs> I'm actually going to combust. Like... It's so good. I am so excited to get into this episode. Also, Pete and Lucius are engaged. And I've been made aware that Maitolage, I don't know if that's how you pronounce that or not, but it's a thing. So men could actually get married at sea. And it was, I think it was even recognized by the state or something. So are we gonna get a wedding between Pete and Lucius? Because if that's not the finale plot line, I don't want it. Like, what? that needs to happen i'm so excited like that is so cute i just love everybody thriving although it does fill me with fear because why is everything going so smoothly i know it's a fun little comedy but you know last season had a devastating ending so i really hope that's not going to be the case this season i just want everybody to be happy you know but yeah if you guys are interested you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my patreon the link is going to be in the description down below and let's just jump, get into it. I used to think my legacy lay in the arts, in music. Okay, who is this? Tiniest little bit of fourth finger vibrato. What do you want from me? Blackbeard breaks Ned Lowe's record. What? I'm mad. Um... I told you. I haven't seen Blackbeard's ship. Oh, God, no. 88 consecutive raids at sea. I don't know where Blackbeard is. I, I've been tracking him for ages. I know exactly where he is. Then what do you want from him? Because my love. My love? I'm still a musician at heart. <laughs> God, that was a beautiful pitch. That was really nice. Oh my God, this man is scary as hell. <laughs> Listen up. Not him making music with someone's torture screams. That's from the throat. Oh, 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 you have a lovely oh, oh, natural oh, oh, instrument. Thanks. Appreciate the compliment while I'm dying. Oh, damn. How are you, Ed? It's nice to see him back in his old clothes. Oh, look, it's scowly face. Oh, look. You're talking to me again. All right. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit drunk. I thought you were a roach. <sighs> Jesus. Why are you putting that away, aren't you? Yes, I am. Something's wrong. Feels like a storm's coming, but I can't see it. Oh, God, he can feel that coming. Sorry about your leg. <sighs> Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, sure, but an apology as well. He is changing. I put all of your remaining treasure in one room. It was all over the place and I was tripping over it. And some of it's quite ugly. <laughs> Excellent. A reminder of all my guilt. A guilt room. Well, maybe you could do something good with it. I'm inside a snake, man. I'm inside of a fucking snake. And I get a knife and I just stab the fucker. And then I'm like, ah! And then I like crawl out. And then they're like, surprise! Because <laughs> it was 
my birthday. <laughs> and then we just put Rose in that snake. Is this why she was in the snake cult? What do you guys do for parties around here? Uh, not that. <laughs> oh yeah, we we rage. <laughs> I yeah. thought you might. Yeah, we rage. We rage. Yeah. Do we? I haven't crawled out of a snake in years. Yeah, guys, it's years. I mean, last night we just reorganized furniture. Yeah, well, improvement in the flow is undeniable. Have you seen this, please? Yeah, yeah. 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 I fucking love them. Today is Calypso's birthday. <gasps> oh, yeah! yeah. Shit, that's today? Yeah, the most holy day in the Calypsian calendar. And seeing as many of us here are Calypsish. Oh, yeah, I'm Calypsish. 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 You're Calypsish. They're what? Calypso's birthday is something that you guys just made up, just invented, so that we can have a party? Definitely feels like it. Correct the Mundo. Yeah. <laughs> Give a lot of it away to those less fortunate. Oh, I see becoming Robin Hood. Calypso's birthday. Correct. It's a day of observance, by far the holiest of days in our culture. Yes, well, I'll, I'll get on to that. So they're just trying to Calypso you. Um, it's totally just a... It's a verb as well, I love it. You could use this loot to pay for a big bash. Turn poison into positivity. Oh, how I am excited. Poison into positivity. The evils of piracy have plagued our nations and our communities. And I was beset by brigands. You! You robbed me! <gasps> oh shit! Took my nose. Ah! So to, to stand up against this modern piracy. Modern piracy? <laughs> okay. I think Join the English Navy. Remarkable speech, Prince. Oh, right, because he's a prince, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. Oh, he got a little upgrade. Oh. Oh, it's even better than having a real nose. The urchins, I'm gonna change your lives. Here's 50,000 doubloons. You know how long it was till I had that kind of money? Fucking long time. <laughs> and here is a knife. Oh, don't give that to the children. Pro tip here when you're cutting someone, okay, don't bother stabbing. Man, chances are they'll survive. You want to slash, big deep slashes side to side so the guts will fall out. Not the little child mimicking it. But I'd give these filthy little gutter rats a, a head start that I never had. Poison into positivity. Are you a pirate? No, we're not pirates <laughs> no. and you won't be pirates either, okay? We own an inn. Yes, of course, how can I forget? Don't. They own an inn. I hope that is their like, final goal. Like the actual final episode of the entire show, it's them owning an inn. Very interesting way to describe blackmail. Do we like the term? Uh oh. Black? I would be very careful who you trifle with, because I'm a minor prince. And that's why we're blackmailing you. Uh. Again, I don't like that term. Minor prince, pirate queen who bent China to her will. These are, these are just labels. I don't want to talk about who you are. I want to talk about who you could be. And who is that? Oh, shit. This feels eerily like season one, where all of our enemies are teaming up so close to the finale. What's all this, son? I'm working on my look. Look. Fuck's a look. Well, tonight I'm going with the sea goddess Calypso. <laughs> Lucius and Pete, we haven't seen on this episode yet. Are they just enjoying each other? Haven't come up for air yet since their engagement. I'm excited to see Isis look. Oh, what is this? Welcome, me, party, and amuse! Oh, face! Do you feel that? La tempestad! Let me see a cerca! She must be me! Greetings, mortals! Whoa! Is that a weird job? Design, Oh, shit! We John, you look slay. Raise your motherfucking glasses or feel my absolute wrath. Yeah! Yeah! Just play that, just follow my beat. Izzy, your hair! Oh, the shit! Hold me close and hold me fast. The magic spell you cast. I'm gonna throw up. What is this? I see lovely arms. What's happening right now? I have no fucking clue, but I love it. Do what? Turn the poison into positivity. <laughs> I love these guys so much. We'll sing from above. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, we are having them as a throuple. I fucking love it. Uh, 
I knew something was gonna fucking ruin this. We can both have anything nice! Get down! Ed shielding Steed. How am I supposed to live with that? Hey, Laura. Fucking perfect. Oh, I'm going to torture you all, by the way. Uh, thanks for the heads up. Wait, that's it? We got captured immediately? I have always thought you were a very generic pirate, you know? Beard check. Who asked you? Your opinion is trash. Typical, common, dirty bag of pirate. I didn't even want your fucking record. I only broke it because I was bored. Mm-hmm. I think that's worse. Music came very easily to my younger brother. Let me guess, you killed him? Strung up your little fiddle bow with his guts or something super melodramatic like that? Super melodramatic. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Struck a chord. <laughs> yeah. I think you got it in one. It's often family-based stuff. I will not <laughs> be undone by another idiot survivor! <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> you torture like a bitch. Oh, yeah? <gasps> Hey, no, 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 no. It's me you want, it's me you want. Don't go now! I'm gonna kill you, you fucker! This is really gonna hurt. What the? Leave him alone! I'm tender headed, you know. Alright, okay. I don't think the torture has begun. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna cut your skin off in strips or some bullshit like that. You don't sound very excited about it. Mm hmm. Oh, yes, let's turn them against Ned, please. Whatever this is, it's just gonna turn me on. Oh, really? <gasps> Go fuck yourself. Is wow. It... Oh, <gasps> God, let's just breathe. Please be careful. 24 hours of freaky, uninterrupted love. Mm. So happy for them. Try not to get captured. Where is it? That doesn't sound. Are we under attack? Very much so, yeah. Save everybody, guys. Torturing us won't get your record back. I know that. I'm just doing it for the lols. Oh, oh, oh. What did this show turn into? It started out so happily and nicely. Let's all oh. tune up! Tune up! Ah. Yeah. Steve, why are you screaming? <laughs> Maybe he was also just enjoying the music. We really are going. Do something. Yeah, no, no, maybe we just like tell their stories, and in some ways, it's not the best revenge. But we're not really at the revenge step. We're sort of in the like pre revenge window. But there's a bunch of them. Oh, oh. Jesus! No! You're late! Oh, I wasn't late. It really hurts! Oh, thank you. It's nice to get a little positive reinforcement now and again. Don't! Talk to my employee. Oh, God. Oh, that's the problem. You see her as your employee rather than the person she actually is. Okay. Yes, Steve. Kill him. Yeah, well, I'm Already sorry, what? Absolutely. Yes, Steve. Yes, yes, yes. Enough trifling. Oh. Release my crew or Hellcat. Is it Hellcat? Yeah, I don't think he gives a fuck if she dies. Go ahead and kill her. She can't even tie a rope correctly. Maybe I'm demoralized by your constant fucking criticism. Me too. I've had enough of the shiny fuck. Oh, I don't like the way it makes me feel yes. weak. You're mercenaries. You don't have feelings. How about you stop telling me who I am? Me yeah. Like and she has a name. Yeah. A beautiful one. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> you already got this. Yeah, where you been? We got engaged. Oh. <laughs> I love that. Anywho, where were we? <laughs> Anywho. Your lot was turning, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Good. Guys, 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 come on, come on, please. Let's have a little. <laughs> I love his little smile. And you want the crown to pay them not to pirates. Correct. Pay them a living wage. Then they will stop stealing your shit. Do you know where a fifth? I fucking love that. You're Prince Richard Baines. Respected pirate abolitionist. And you could be the man to end all piracy without firing a single shot. Thanks oh for the treasure, God. Morning. What does that mean for our crew? Awfully sorry to hear about your mum, Vincent. Hope she's feeling better soon. Thanks, Bonnet. You're the fucking man, bro. All right, full sail. <laughs> okay, this is too good. All right, full sail, dogs. And I mean that supportively and affectionately. You are all a disgrace. I love this show so much. Like, it's so unrealistic, but that's the fun part of it. How are you going to do it? I'm not. I don't respect you enough to kill you. <laughs> Not worth the poison. You used to be a killer, but now you're just a washed up, low-born 
dirtbag. <gasps> oh, Steve is not going to like that. Walk. Oh, 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 now this is how you do it. This is what it's all about right here. Go. Can he do it? Get up. On the plank? No fucking shit. Oh, that is kinky. You're going to toss me into the sea? Works for spiders. Works for men. <laughs> you know, once you kill me, you are a real pirate. You're you're not an amateur. Don't do it, Steve. Killing an... Oh, shit. That's why he likes you. It's because of your bumbling amateur status. You're like a pet, I think. Shut up. That's not the reason. You shit-talked my friend and damaged my ship. But worst of all, you... Fucked Calypso's birthday! Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Oh, what's going on with that? What would you like me to do? Jump? No. Don't forget your fiddle. Oh, oh no, it's not gonna like this. You're kidding. Steve? You just killed someone. That can't be good. Jump after him, save him or something. I'll be in my quarters. Give him a minute. First girl's always a mind fuck. I'm gonna check on. Oh, God. This turned so dark so fast. Look, I was a wreck after my first kill as well. I mean, well, it was my dad, so it was his. Oh, don't sit down. Holy fucking shit. Let's go see the ad. Get it on. No better off for this shit than a murder of a man. Screaming, crying, throwing up. You see, fuck it up, he has such a beautiful voice. I'm so happy for that. Holy fucking shit, they're actually doing. What an episode! Oh my god, and what a beautiful ending! And the fireworks and the colors. Is he fucking singing? <sighs> Dude, I was actually so scared that Ed was not gonna like Steed after this. Like the way he was looking down while Steed was, you know, killing a man. I was so scared that Ed would be like, yeah, no, I like the part about you where you don't kill people, you know? So. I'm happy that's not the case, that he's actually still in love with Steve. I know they just had sex and it's so cute. I love it so much. I thought they were gonna take it slow, but this is definitely a lot better. <laughs> hey, apologies, guys, but I couldn't let him harm this little fella. So we just went and hit off the side for a couple of hours. Now I've got really sore fingers from hanging there and holding you. Yes, you. Mate, you got sore fingers. I've got sore footsies. We got tortured and we survived. Yeah. Let's fucking put it. <laughs> Don't get the fireworks! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> this is just so good. I have no more words, actually. Holy shit, what an episode. I'm gonna throw up, actually. <laughs> like, Steve and Ed have gone to the next step of their relationship. And I just love how protective they were over each other. Dude, Ed stepping in front of Steed when they were raided, and then Ed begging Ned not to torture Steed. And then as soon as Ned was talking shit about Ed, Steed was like, this fucking stops right now. And he killed him. I did not expect that. I did not expect Steed to kill a man because y'all remember how upset he was when he killed the two British guys and those were both accidents and he was just truly so distraught by it and kept screaming about it and now he's like yeah die bitch and then his response was to just sleep with Ed. Okay, I was not expecting that, but I'm so here for this. Like, this is so interesting and fun. I just like, what a great episode. Although I just saw that it was 25 minutes long. What do you mean? That's so short. Like, you're giving me eight episodes instead of 10, and then some of the episodes are 25 minutes long? What is this, cable TV? Uh, excuse me, at least give me an hour of this. <laughs> like, what? I just... <sighs> I'm fine. It's so good. I just 
I love this show so fucking much. And yeah, the whole Calypso's birthday party was so fun. Lil John or V John? Oh, it's V John, not Lil John. <laughs> what is he, a rapper? Lil John on the scene. Yeah, V John and Izzy showing up in drag. So good. Like they were truly serving the C word I cannot say on YouTube, but they were truly doing that, you know. <laughs> Good. I love that they looked and Izzy singing so good. Oh, and the moment between Izzy and Ed when Izzy was finally talking to Ed and Ed apologized. It's so good. I just, all the character development is so good this season. I love it so much. And everybody's kind of on good terms with everybody. And we've turned the poison into positivity. Everything is going our way. I'm scared. I don't like this. Everybody's happy. Lucius and Pete announce their engagement. They're happy as can be. Steve and Ed are having sex, so they're as happy as they can be. And yeah, I think we're so fucked the next episode. I'm just picturing maybe the English Navy coming after us, or maybe Zhang Zhao coming after us. Uh, maybe they're teaming up to come after us. I don't know, but something's gonna go wrong, right? <laughs> I don't want this. It's just, just please. Let this just stay happy, because I love this. Oh, also, the all one day Archie and Jim thruple, I think it's happening. I don't know if they're gonna confirm it. I'm, hopefully they're gonna confirm it. Like, this is the type of show where I could see them actually confirming it, because there have been, like, a lot of small moments, you know, that indicate that they're gonna be, you know, together, all three of them. So I'm really hoping that before the end of the season, the show can actually confirm that they are together. I just, you know, I just love it so much, like, how this show, instead of making that an annoying-ass love triangle type situation, where both Archie and Obi-Wan-Be are fighting for Jim, they were just, like, yeah, we're all hot. We all like each other. Why would we choose, you know? So yeah, I really hope they can confirm that by the end of the season and still see that Lucius and Pete wedding. Those are my like big things for this season. Like the two things I would love to see because I feel like Steed and Ed are pretty good. So if they can just stay together, communicate and be happy, I'm good. Like I think they're kind of solid at the moment. So these two are the other things I would love to see before the season ends. And yeah, love the episode. It's so good. I cannot wait to watch the next one, even though it's gonna be the penultimate episode of the season. I don't like this. I don't like that we're almost already over with the season. It's so sad. And again, no news on season three. So I don't... is it gonna get renewed? I haven't seen any numbers for this show. Have you guys seen anything like how well it's doing on streaming? Like are people tuning in or what's happening? Is there a huge chance for season three or are we fucked? I don't know. I just... God, I really hope it gets renewed, please. I just, I need more of this show so badly. But yes, I'm so excited to get in the next episode. So let me just do my outro and then start watching the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. And as always, a huge, huge shout out goes out to my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone.